If you want to move people on from a place where you don't want them to be, you have two choices. You either get rich or you die trying. So the moral of that story is that Tim Pool decided to get rich and is going to take out the trash, I guess. I don't know. This is a crazy story. I just thought it was funny, and Tim Pool decided to do a response to the story. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. There's a skate park in West Virginia where he was not welcome. Well, it's a empty, well, empty lot is not. It's a vacant lot where it's a DIY skate park, and uh, that means they're essentially squatting, and uh, Tim Pool decided to uh, extol the virtues of capitalism and take uh, that property away from them so they couldn't skate on it. I mean, they could skate on it if they want, but they got to go through him first. So that uh, I am the man you may know as Z from My Reviews Will Kill You. We're going to talk a little bit about this. I'm going to show you some stuff. Let's take a look at X. Even though it still has the, the logos, you would think they would fix these things, but, you know, when there's only five people working there. I don't know who Ryan Cooper is, but... He said uh, Tim Pool got so mad at some West Virginia skaters that he bought their skate park for $850,000. Like I said, you either get rich or die trying. The skate park was thriving. Uh huh. I'm sure there's a bunch of homeless skateboarders who are probably real mad. Um, then a, <laughs> It's an abandoned lot. It's do it yourself. It's not even like a park that was being kept up by... Anybody in particular. If anything, he'll probably renovate it and make it much better than what it was. They're claiming, though, then the right, right-wing right YouTuber bought it. Bought the purchase of an improvised skate park. I am surprised the county even allows that to happen. Why is this a story? Who cares? Like, why are we angry? Here's Reddit. Reddit, they're real mad too. Why is everybody so mad? I guess they're mad because they can't afford it. <laughs> Tim Pool gets rejected by a crew of skaters that run a local DIY skate park. You know what we used to call DIY skate parks back in the in the day? It's uh, the place where you know cops would get their batting practice, if you know what I'm saying. So he purchases the land from underneath them and calls them woke leftists. It's not like he's <laughs> getting rid of a skate park. He's going to put up a better skate park. Than what you have. Uh, I just think it's funny. And we'll hear directly from Tim at the end of this. Uh, but yeah, people are not happy with him. <laughs> I'm just so mad I could spend $850,000 on some land. The uncool kid who ended up with some money, I heard someone say. I just. <laughs> A wealthy 40 year old attempts performative performatively to impress local skaters who he's never met by throwing money at them to show them how cool he is and then turn him down for the, his past public actions. I don't know what he's ever said that was so controversial, like, uh, other than he keeps talking about Civil War, which does not seem like a good thing. Uh, I thought, yeah, early 80s and 90s skater culture was, like, cool, and you used to be able to make money off of it, and Bam Margera became, like, a super millionaire, and Tony Hawk became a super millionaire, and now all I ever see is a bunch of hobos doing skating. So I must have missed something. Uh, <laughs> these people on Reddit are so, man. A gifted hater crossover with <laughs> From the anti-1% to 1%. Yes, Tim Pool is now part of the 1%. He's got lots of money. So, um, just interesting what's going on here. And then, uh, I don't know who wrote the actual story. In the Washington Post wrote a whole story about this. Right-wing podcaster bought West Virginia Skate Park. Then rebellion ensued. The Washington Post, Will Sommer, has written a lengthy report about tensions that have erupted over the stupid... I bet you couldn't even find West Virginia on a map. I have driven through West Virginia. It has many, many strange towns that are full of crazy vines that creep me out. I definitely was surprised I did not get murdered while I was through there. Uh, apparently, this whole story began back in August of 2020. 23 when regulars at the venue 
rejected Poole's offer of $20,000 in prize money for the park's 10-year anniversary celebration. They don't want his money. They only want it if it comes with free drugs, man. And that he'd be removed if he showed up. What? They don't own the property. They can't remove him. How can you remove somebody from something you don't own? Doesn't make any sense. But they didn't want to be associated with that hateful stuff. He regularly spews on his podcast. Please elaborate what is so hateful. I mean, I hate the Civil War talk, but uh, yeah. We don't want a billion dollar, a billion people showing up to our small town DIY looking for a $20,000 payday. We're not in the wheel sport. <laughs> We're not in wheel sports for a paycheck. What are wheel sports? <laughs> what? Uh, yes, they can't block him from being on the property. <laughs> it's just funny. Tim Pool explains they don't own the spot. By what right do they have? I guess, uh, yeah, by what right do they have to tell me I can't stand on a derelict piece of property where they're squatting? Yes, maybe that's the problem. This is actually a, a, uh, a, a, uh, a, a fight over private over pri private property rights is that what it is like public rights versus private rights I don't know uh, and then they resorted to insulting him and his uh, his ability to do slappy grinds whatever that means I don't know what a slappy grind is all I can tell you is what I know about skateboarding is uh, Bam Margera used to skate got a lot of money from skateboarding and i had a cousin still have a cousin who shattered his ankle in five trillion places and could never skateboard again because he did some trick so that's what i know about those so why don't we take a look at i don't like this uh this website is no good but let's hear from tim pool's own words what he has to say to defend himself on a scale of controversies right now i'm giving this like a four it's pretty weird Maybe the other guys should make YouTube channels about their squatting on this property. But this is the important thing. The quote, it wasn't like we were leftist or anything. We didn't want to be associated with that hateful stuff. Ah, what hateful stuff? They're leftists pretending they're not. And this is exactly the issue right now in the skateboard industry. There's a lot of complaints from people about how leftist politics have wholly invaded skateboarding. Now, left is that real <laughs> leftist politics of invaded skateboarding? I don't know. That seems kind of strange. Yes, don't think they're political. It's just like I am legend. And this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. What? Politics is everything. What are we going to do? We are creating a neutralizing force in skateboarding in the culture war that will expand this and make it open to everyone, not just leftists who want to push people out. Let me stress this again. It's not like we're leftists. We don't want to be associated with the hateful stuff. So they told me I wasn't welcome to come to a property they didn't own in a town where where my employees work and live, where I own property and I'm building. And in a county who this is the county skate park, I'm not allowed to come to where I live to skate because they don't want to be around my politics. OK, that means they're opposing my politics, right? <laughs> so he, he proceeds to buy. Said, don't tell him where he could go. You don't, don't you dare tell Tim Pool where he can go. So then there's this, this other part I just wanted to play for you guys real quick, which I thought was also kind of amusing. This is, this is some fight we've got here. <laughs> the power of, the power of one, the power of two. You in the same county. The power of Pool's many. Pool's money looms large at the boonies. In April, he hosted a bustling skate contest, offering a $10,000 prize to whoever could drop in an 11 foot drop. It's a 16-foot drop with 11 feet of vert, good sir. One skater broke his femur in an attempt at the drop, and it was taken away in an ambulance, indeed. Later, saying in an interview on one of Poole's YouTube channels, he probably faces a year of medical treatment and physical therapy before he can skate again. Poole gave him the $10,000 anyway. Indeed, I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, that those, those are the rules. That's what happens when you skateboard. You break things. That's, that's kind of part of the deal, isn't it? And look, Tim Pool gave him $10,000 anyway. I don't know if he paid for his health coverage. Shout but. out, uh, dude. That was uh, an amazing attempt. And uh, I told him, I was like, you won the $10,000 man prize. Because, woo, the other dude won $1,000 for his attempts, but he was unscathed, maybe a little bruised up. 
What little about Martinsburg Skate Park has changed, Amos said. Most skaters are staying away because they don't want to be associated with pool or improve his property with more volunteer construction construction on ramps. Lies. It's a lie. I was skating there the other day. Mike was working on the on the quarter pipe. <laughs> I, 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 he gets like real deep into like all the different. This is like a skater nerd fight. And everybody involved is a bunch of skater nerds, and I don't, I don't think I care. But so that's why I'm going to give it a four out of ten. How a skater nerd fight got into here to become a giant, like a, a national story, I'll, I will never know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you still into skateboarding? Do you think Tim is in the right? Should he be able to buy out this property from under a bunch of skating hobos? allegedly maybe they're not hobos maybe they're just you know kids who want to skate in a park that's not being maintained by anybody but themselves i don't know but either way let me know what you think in the comments down below i am curious this is a little funny and i guess i'll link the video somewhere but uh either way we have a full-length audio podcast you can check out and uh we live stream it here 7 30 p.m eastern standard time we're on youtube we're also on rumble and uh you know sometimes we're on apple itunes and other places like that in the meantime, you guys, you, you, I know you guys love skateboarding. You watch, you love it so much you watch it in the Olympics. Probably not. Maybe you watch some break dancing while you're at it. Anyway, love all y'all. Thank you for watching. But I'm on to the next one.